Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Turn the power off at the circuit breakers. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the microwave door torsion spring in the KitchenAid oven microwave combination. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a flat blade screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new microwave door torsion spring. We highly recommend replacing both the right and the left hand torsion springs at the same time. Carefully research what springs you need, because they vary depending on the model number. For this stainless steel microwave, the part number for the right hand spring is WP4452396. If the microwave door falls down when it's opened, it indicates that the door torsion spring is broken. I suggest you to remove the oven door. It's not necessary, but it will be so much easier to work on the microwave door without the oven door in place. Open the door and using the flat blade screwdriver, flip up the stoppers on each hinge. Grab the door by the sides and slowly raise the door until it comes off the oven. Put it out of the way. Try not to break the glass. We need to loosen up these two screws at the bottom of the door. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take four screws out and then remove the vent grill. Use the opportunity to clean it. Mine was real dirty. Using the Phillips screwdriver, loosen up both retainer screws. Open the door, hold the door handle firmly and unscrew two Phillips screws on the top of the inner door frame. Slide the outer door glass off. Do not let go of the inner door as it's spring loaded and will shut quickly. Slowly close the door. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out two screws, one on each side of the control panel. Pull the panel off. Disconnect the small white plug at the control board and lift it up to provide the access to the upper vent grill. Take out three Phillips screws and remove the upper vent grill. Take two Phillips screws out that holds the microwave at the bottom. And then pull the microwave out of the mounting frame for a few inches. Now we can take out both Phillips screws at the bottom of the frame and remove the door frame. Here at the bottom of the door, you can see two cross torsion springs. One of them usually snaps at the curved end on the side, as you can see in our case. Push the end of the spring towards you to release it from the groove and then slide the spring out and remove it. This is the old left-hand microwave door torsion spring next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Install the new springs. The spring can go in only one way. The curved end is on the top of the hinge. Install the door frame on the door. Secure the frame from the bottom with two Phillips screws. It's best if you hold the frame with the other hand while you're screwing those two screws. Tape the door frame and the inner door together so the door frame won't break. Push the microwave in. Secure it with the two Phillips screws at the bottom. Open the door, install the top vent grill and secure it with the three Phillips screws.
Bring the control panel down. Reconnect the white plug at the control board. Then slide the control panel so the top slots in the corner overlocks the vertical post with the rubber grommets and secured with the two Phillips screws on the sides. Slide the outer door glass on the door with the bottom into the retainers. Secure the top with two Phillips screws. Get to the bottom of the door and using the Phillips screwdriver, tighten both retainer screws. Remove the tape from the door. Install the bottom vent grill and secure it with the four Phillips screws. Bring the door, insert the hinges into the hinge receptacles, close the hinge stoppers and slowly close the door, make sure it's installed properly. Now we can turn the power on and enjoy cooking. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, Please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.